Alright ladies, here's the thing. We continue to fight for gender equality. We want equal pay, equal treatment, equal rights, equal anything and everything. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. And that's fabulous. We've truly accomplished so much as a gender, as a society as a whole. But here's the problem. We want equality until we don't. Now, don't get mad right off the bat. Hear me out for a second. We still want the man to open up our car door. We want the guy to pick up the check, especially on the first date. God forbid he asks us to pay for our own food or split the check with him. Nope, that's it. No second dates, no callbacks, and you can guarantee that you're gonna tell all of your friends what a prick he was because he made you pay for your date the first time you went out. We have all of these expectations of what a man should and shouldn't do, but then we're running around wanting to be G.I. Jane. And granted, we have earned that right, but we ditched our skirts and our petticoats, and yet we still expect men to treat us like we're wearing them. If a guy asks to split the cost of a meal, doesn't that make us equal? As strong, independent women fighting for equality, shouldn't we want to split the cost of that meal? Shouldn't we want to pay for our fair share? Matthew Hussey, a very handsome British relationship coach, says, the moment you say to a guy, you have to pay for my time, you're saying this relationship isn't equal. If you go on a date with a guy and don't offer to pay your share, you weren't taught right. But if you go on a date and he doesn't pay, he wasn't taught right. My boyfriend and I pretty much split everything 50-50. There are times he tells me no, and that's okay. I'm totally cool with that. I appreciate the fact that he wants to treat me, and he appreciates the fact that I offered to pay my share. We make about the same amount of money, so how fair would it be if I expected him to pay for everything? Not too fair. So ladies, next time you're out with your pitchforks and your nasty hats, please try to practice what you preach. Flat out, we want to be equal until we don't. You may not want him to lay his jacket over a puddle for you so your shoes don't get wet, but you sure want him to give you that umbrella when it's raining. Have you seen a Bronx tale? You pull her right where she is, right? Before you get out of the car, you lock both doors. You walk over to her. You take out the key, put in the lock, open the door for her. Then you close the door for her. If he's kind enough to open your door, you should open his while you're waiting for him to walk around to his side of the car. If she doesn't reach over, lift up that button for you so you can get in, thump her. Because here's the lesson with that. If she doesn't reach over, lift up that button for you so you can get in, that means she's a selfish broad and all you're seeing is the tip of the iceberg. You dump her, you dump her fast. Until next time.